I'm Priscilla Frederick Loomis. I am a professional track and field athlete, 2016 Olympian. I'm a fabulous wife, entrepreneur, and podcast host of my show, uh, In Our Prime, as well as a new morning show radio host for 98.7 The Coast. My first job was when I was 15, 16 years old, and I was the hostess at Applebee's. And I learned when you interact with people, it's, it changes every moment. It changes every day. Some people are having bad days. Some people are having you know, at home drama. Some people are celebrating. Some people are getting engaged. And so it taught me that I have to meet people where they're at. First impressions always matter. Always matter because I learned this everywhere that I went from my first job to when I was in middle school at track meets to when I was in college in track meets. It's always about how people remember you and what you made them feel when they met you. And that's what I noticed as an entertainer. I wanted people to see me and feel joy. I wanted them to see me and be like, ooh, Who's that? She brings a different element to the game. Whether you're dressing up or you know, for a night out or you're just going for your morning coffee, that impression matters. I want people to see me and know that I take care of myself, I take pride in myself, that I'm courageous, I'm a warrior, and I have this spirit that somebody else does not. And I like to set myself apart um, knowing that every single day is a new opportunity for anything to happen. So with track and field, I was at the 2012 Olympic trials for the US. I competed with not a care in the world. I mean, I had my jewelry, I'm dancing, I'm jumping, missing bars and I'm celebrating. I am so excited just to be a part of it. Little kids were coming up to me asking for my autograph. And I literally, every single time I was like, you guys know I didn't win. And they said, oh, we know you entertained us. We loved watching you. We loved, and that's when I realized that track is deeper. And as an athlete, it's deeper than just what you're doing on stage. It's how you make people feel. And so when it comes to track and field, I needed to always come correct. When people interview me, I'm bubbly, I'm light, I'm having a conversation because this is my life. This is who I am. And if somebody watches this interview for the first time, I want them to remember that I made them feel just as bubbly, just as light and just as colorful. Professional presence is how I want people to perceive me. It's not so much as I care about their opinion, but I know that whenever somebody meets me for that first initial impression, they know that I am courageous. They know that I am strong. I am a warrior. I have a spirit and an aura about me that gravitates them to me. It's thinking outside of the box and really presenting myself with who I genuinely am. I want people to feel a certain way when I come in, whether it is at a big time meeting or if it's just grabbing drinks at the local pub. It doesn't matter. I bring the same level each time. Being able to take everything that I do with that Olympic mentality helps. When it comes to people in my life that have made an influence in my life is it's everyone. And I say that as a way to say it was the good people and it was the bad people. And people come into my life for a chapter, for a season, for different parts of my life, and then they exit. My biggest person is my mother. My mother was a single parent. She did it by herself. She didn't ask for help. And she took that all on her. And I think that's what I took as a way of moving forward and knowing that if I want to be successful, it's all on me. I can't blame anybody and it's, I have to make the decisions that are best for me. My former coach, Mike Pascuzzo, was with me since I was 13 years old up until I was about 28. He had a really big hand in how I did things, how I dealt with people, and I took the good and I took the bad. I was holding on to this this sadness. And he was just like, this is what it is. 
You can't change it, so you need to be able to know how to handle it. And I did, and it helped me, it healed me. I think people doubt themselves, they speak negatively on themselves, uh, they doubt, they, they have these fears, and it lets them control them. And my friend of mine, I was like, oh, I hate my hair today. She goes, please don't speak to my, don't speak about my friend that way. And it was so crazy because in that moment, I was like, you're right. If I wouldn't say it to a friend, why would I say it to myself? Speaking positively about me and being that daredevil and that superhero and that warrior, I have no fear going into things. I'm going and I'm trying and yes, I, I fall, but I get back up. And I think that's, that's a really big thing is that no matter whether you're going for your first Olympics, your first job, you're retiring, it's okay to take a step back, give yourself that courage and move forward without any hesitation. I think it's how you present yourself. So for me, as a leader, I truly believe in women, female empowerment. I believe in the courage and the love of women. I think it's very necessary, especially as a black female. I feel like we are one of the lowest on the totem poles of respect. I need to be the change that I wanna see. Now you can preach and you can preach and you can preach and you can say all these things, but if you're not being the actual example of it, if you're not living it, breathing it, dreaming it, I don't think that that even qualifies you as a leader. So I think leaders are people that are guiding people by exactly how they live their life.